Hello and welcome to Wake Up and Smile, the Mike S&P 500 review for Thursday, April 27th, 2023. It's now 5.46 a.m. Central Time. We start off in the S&P 500 daily chart into Mark looking back to end of December 2021. I'll zoom into the current area now. The S&P 500 daily chart has printed the combo and sequential buy setup 5 count and to negate that for end of day today there must be a close above 4133.52 for the price flip to the sell setup count 1. The only levels in danger of becoming qualified today would be this disqualified 50% momentum up for propulsion then this ongoing supply line and this one too this qualified demand line did not quite be confirmed as the bar from yesterday opened above the close from the qualifying bar but it did close underneath the close of the qualifying bar and ticked lower than this qualifying bar so that's close enough to give the qualified demand projection here which price hit and went through and closed below and price from the pre-market for the S&P 500 at 556 a.m. on the 27th is 4078 so price in the pre-market hours is back above this qualified demand projection that was hit so that worked as a buying zone for demand for stocks it looks like the low absolutely nailed the trend factor down one so that was very good support so price movement for today on the 27th would need to get above the cloud conversion line 4109.42 that's the goal and right above that is the mid band of the stark band which is a nine simple moving average and the cloud conversion line is a nine ema and the daily chart is on the sequential buy countdown 12 i would rather see the by countdown 13 completion happen before price makes it back above the close of this bar on the 5th if it doesn't and it heads up then price would need to tick lower than this close and have a chance to print the 13 then so it's best to just get it out of the way now so the trend factor down one is pretty good support from yesterday and the lower start band in black is right on top of the baseline here and the channel three low is right above those two so this is a very good support zone the CBOE total put call ratio charts KST shows it heading downwards these last couple days for more bullishness. It just now started to try to pull back on the stick and head up as S&P price was headed down these last couple of days. So we need to pay close attention to this chart here for the put call ratio as the CBOE has now officially added zero day options to their fix arsenal so everybody's jumping on that and this volatility VIX is getting left behind in the dust and if you've been following along, I suspected all along that these red vertical line failures were from the zero day options running roughshod over the put call ratio for volatility. So it might not act as decisively or have bigger movements as it used to 
you can see when it did get bullish it really went down to that negative 150 marker over here on the left and I don't think we're going to see that much these days as you can tell back from the 22 era well one time here at the beginning of the year but it might not be happen as much as it did before so we'll just monitor that and I still think around this valley here will be the turnaround to the upside for the KST meaning the S&P 500 continues its downward trek the S&P 500 support and resistance levels big board chart shows the gray areas at this weekly diamond extension perfect uptrend channel bottom line there the daily horizontal support from 0407 2021 top of the cloud 26 bars back concerning the lagging line and R1 price in the pre-market hours for the S&P 500 at 628 a.m. is 4079 so to the immediate downside is the pivot point the lower stark band and daily channel 3 low the 50 EMA and the trend factor down 1 and to the upside is the 21 EMA at 4091 then it's a jump up into the 4100 zone the daily conversion line 4109 20 simple moving average right in the same area along with the daily Bollinger Band upper band and R2 both the S&P 500 daily AD line and the NASDAQ 100 daily AD line are below their 21 EMA signal lines respectively and the Rock 1 simmered down again it's right at 0 at negative 0.38 and pointed up ATR2 simmered down back in its green zone quite significantly 43.38 and the PPO extreme did tick down a bit it's still 1.02 percent above zero and the New York traditional McClellan breath oscillator to get back to zero would require 2493 advancers over decliners to get back to zero quite a move from yesterday 1881 so it's well under the McClellan breath oscillator zero line. Have a great day.